Hey out there in YouTube land, this is JD and welcome to my channel. What am I doing here? I'm sitting in a pontoon boat. This is a pontoon boat with two pontoons. If it's three, then it's called a tritune, not a pontoon. This is two pontoon boats and it is a legend. Legend Splash Cottage Plus EXT. I don't want to screw that up. Splash Cottage Plus EXT. So this is a beautiful, beautiful boat. I like to call it a vessel, but it's probably a boat, or maybe it's a ship, I don't know. So, But here's the console we have here. So we've got ourselves a steering wheel here, and it's adjustable steering wheel. You press the button and the steering wheel adjusts. It's amazing. So, and you press the button again, and the steering wheel goes down to your comfort level. We have an AM FM radio with Bluetooth. So you can spit Bluetooth from your iPhone or any other Bluetooth device directly in here and we've got speakers down here and let's see if i can see these really fast no you can't let me look this way and there you go there's one of the speakers right there and there's two speakers in this so it's not really made for your party boats it's made for fishing but i'll talk about that in a second you also have an auxiliary port here and this is for usb for charging your phone and a little tiny uh what is this an eight tenth inch adapter a something millimeter adapter something millimeter three millimeter i can't remember 1.2 millimeter anyway it's an adapter so you plug a, a an audio device in here and it'll pump it in like that you can also charge your iphone here and this is the old cigarette lighter adapter 12 volts so anything that you got that's 12 volts can stick in there and uh, it's not really made for cigarette smoking or lighting cigarettes, but it's a 12 volt adapter, so you could probably hook some equipment in here. And then if I go over to the top here in the console, you can see what your, your engine RPMs are. Uh, I get my engine up to about 6,000 uh, full out, which is pretty good. And you get the, uh, the actual empty fuel, empty full. When I first got this, it wasn't moving from full for quite a while. I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't work. So I was freaking out, so I brought myself an extra can of gas just in case I run out. I did not want to call the neighbor for a 911 on the lake. So over here is your voltage, your voltage. So this goes up to 12 or 16 or something. Anyway, two 12 volt batteries in the back. I'll show you those in a second. That's your voltage. You want to make sure you got a good charge there. This is a Hummingbird, Hummingbird GPS plus fish finder plus depth gauge it works really well the sensor is on the sponson aka pontoon i like calling them sponsons because i'm aerospace but the sponson on the left hand side or the port side as you navy folks call it right so and so that that's down there also this thing this boat also has a live well here's a live well switch right here right here jerry so you click that and it fills the, uh, the the live well up with water. I don't want to fix, <laughs> press that button because I got my spare gas tank in there. And plus, I got some other stuff in there. So you can stow other things in here. So in this boat, you hit exit. And so I'm at 11 feet right now. And I'm off a beautiful little island. Let me have a look at that. There we go. It's a beautiful little island. And I'm fishing off the end here. So there it is. And this uh, hummingbird gauge is not too bad. It shows you your depth and it's got your speed and it's got all kinds of other stuff. It also has a temperature at 65 degrees Fahrenheit out here, which is pretty freaking cold. And if you look in out there, there's a boat passing me, like way out there, there's another boat passing me. And he's probably saying, oh my God, he's got a nice boat. And there's all sorts of different view modes here uh, that you can click on this. And it also tells you what your track was for today. And you can press it again, double track, tells you all the places you've been on the lake. So, so that's, I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't draw any power and I also had the stereo on so I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't draw power and so while I'm here there's the throttle so here you've got your your engine tilt so up and down so if you start ripping some good speed here you got to move this up until it actually feels nicer so the nose goes up a bit and it cuts through the waves nicer but you actually feel when the engine is performing better with the nose up so that's the uh, throttle you also have the throttle only button. You can press that and you can push this forward and it'll run the engine without actually engaging the prop and pushing you forward, which is nice. And then there's a safety down here. This little red jobby do thingy hickey is a safety. That's the throttle only in case you didn't see it from my video before. And then you've got the key and I got it off right now. And there's a, a, a button under here for your throttle. You press that and bump it forward. So it also has the captain's drink container holder captain's drink holder we're up here in canada so no alcohol allowed in the boat period unless it's got a permanent bathroom 
which just doesn't. But this does have, let's just go in the back here. I'll go in the back first. So there's a view of the boat here like that. There you go. Look at this thing. It's a thing of beauty, right? So let's go in the back first and try not to drop my camera in the water. So you've got, uh, let's see here, you've got a seat, a beautiful L seat here with a dining room table or a lunch table that rotates for drinks and stuff and plenty of storage under here. I'm getting hit by Buddy's waves because he just came by. And then you've got another area over here where you've got some storage. And today, a surprise for my wife today, she said, hey, I think you need a fly swatter. So I've got a fly swatter here. I'm, I'm getting hit side on with these waves because this boat is normally really stable, but I am, we you know, front on, but I'm getting hit side on. They'll be over in a second. So there's that beautiful island. So if I walk to the back of the boat, what do I have? So let's look down here. So here's where the batteries are. So I've got myself dual batteries, dual batteries. So there are the batteries and I've got a big ass battery switch here to put it on two. When you're running the boat, put it on all to charge both batteries. When I'm on the radio, I put it on two. So I'm only draining one in case I have to start the boat and I'm not screwing myself. So there we go. So that's the batteries and the charger. And this is slightly off. I'm gonna have to adjust this a bit. And there's the fence and the gates and they've got a gate gate locks like that and I've got a full ladder back here that folds down a 65 liter gas tank which lasts quite a long time my youngest kid says hey dad that's the same gas tank I have in my car amazing so this is a mercury mercury 90 horsepower which is plenty for this boat it'll take 115 but I went decided to go 90 so I didn't spend tons of money on gas but it's a 90 Merc with a command thrust in the bottom. So that command thrust, effectively, the command thrust is a heavier gearbox on the bottom of the boat. And that heavier gearbox allows this thing here to push a pretty serious, seriously heavy boat. I think this is like 2,500 pounds of boat. So it's not like massive, but it's, uh, it's uh, pretty heavy. And then over here, like I said before, you got your live well. You got your live well. Yeah, it's like Haney from... Green acres if you guys remember that but here's my live well so if I push that live well button it's gonna fill this up with water <laughs> so if you're catching fish you'd put them in there and I, I kind of catch I catch and release I don't eat the damn things I'll come home and then or go home and have a steak so fish catch the fish be all proud and go have a steak so <laughs> there's some gas in there right now that's is the live well it's perfect you can store things in there or if you want to put drinks in there and turn on the live well you can do that too so here we've got the bimini up here. This is bimini, bimini cricket, bimini cricket. The captain's chair also has armrests, beautiful armrests. This thing is super comfy. It's a super comfy captain's chair. Let me just get a good view of it here. There we go. And it's uh, got the armrest and the swivel on it. And it's so up top here, I've got the, uh, that's legend. So and it's got the white light in the top for evening navigation. And then, as I said before, if you move up to the front here, I've got a change room. So if I just pop, reach down here and pop this open, there's a change room. And there's the change room. It's nicely tucked in there. I'm not going to take this out. But if you've got people that are embarrassed and don't want to go down to their skinnies, they could go in the change room and change into their suit of bathingness. So there's a picture as we go to the front of the boat or the stern and the bow for you Navy people. This is the bow, that's the stern. Is it the other way around? Is that the bow and this is the stern? No, the stern's the back. Anyway, there's some fenders here that I hang off the end here. And this is, these are really comfy, uh, well-textured couches here. So let me sit down on this one here, close the gate quickly, and then I'll just sit down and relax for a sec. There we go. So there it is. I'm just sitting, this is the best way to fish, by the way, just sitting here doing absolutely nothing, okay? So these these actually are very, very comfortable. And as you can see, full length. So you can get right down to my Italian socks and shoes. Looks, looks terrible, right? I should have sandals on right now, but these little monkey shoes are great. They give you tons of great grip, by the way. So there's cup holders everywhere. Even behind me, I think there's a cup. Look at that, right there. Two cup holders, one cup holder on the end, cup holders here, cup holders there. And then if you reach down here, I got some storage here, more storage stuff. I keep my, uh, what do I have in there? Pumps, I've got my Marine, what is that? That's a uh, 
fire extinguishers. So I got a fire extinguisher in there and I got my kits and I got life jackets and everything else. And then and these little benches up front are comfy as heck, but guess what? You can take this bench here and open it and take this bench here and open it and turn it into a bed. Let me show you if I can do this with one hand. One hand. So you do that with this one, you do the same with this one, and you're, you've got yourself sleeping quarters. So a full bed, and it's pretty darn big. So this thing is about, I think around six feet long. This bench is around six feet long. So it provides a bed, which is amazing, right? So I don't know if I can do this with one hand while I've got my camera in my hand. You think I can do that? Let's see if it's possible. I'd have to do it with my knee and push it upward. <laughs> This isn't working. Oh, well, I know what I can do. If I hold the camera like this, while well, I hold the front and then push it with the back. Come on, do it. Come on. I almost had it. Come on. This is the exciting part of the video. Come on. Aaron. We're good. What I didn't want to do was drop my camera into the water and <laughs> go, damn, that would have been bad. So there we go. So in the front, if I move to the front here of the vessel i like to call it a vessel i think if it's over 12 feet it's got to be a vessel it's under 24 feet so it's not a ship so here we've got seats i've got my little fishing gear down there so i got a rod holder on the front there so on the bow there's a rod holder with my fishing rod and these seats are great so these are swivel seats and they fold down like that they're completely waterproof and fold up like that and they're comfy as hell so i got about Probably a boot, as Americans say, as Canadians say. I got about, I think, four feet of deck here. If you look down like this, you're going to see around four feet of deck in the front for fishing. I got a little tub to catch a fish, but what I really need to do is put a mat down here. So when I drag the fish up, it doesn't stink up the front of the boat. So this is beyond the gate. So the gate is here, right? So your fishing quarters are here. So you can sit two people. And as you can see, I'm stretching my feet out and I can barely touch the second seat. So plenty of room here uh, and by the way the sponsons aka pontoons they've got little uh, welded in uh, welded in uh, what are they hard points in the front and they've got uh, welded in hard points in the back as well and we're going to say front and back in case you're not in the navy right so stern and bow okay for you people that stern and bow okay you know normally i do watch making videos so this is my very first or second or maybe third boat video I did some John boat videos a long time ago. So this is the boat um, or ship or vessel. Um, here's a nice table here. This table swivels and that's for drinky poos. And like I said, this corner area is perfect. My wife likes to sit back here. It's excellent. And you got your captain's chair and then your 90 horsepower Merc that's gonna go like crazy. So this thing goes pretty fast. It goes around 25 miles an hour which is good enough for a pontoon boat. And I think if once you've turned, I'm over 60 now. So once you've turned 60, you got to get yourself a pontoon boat. Forget all those other boats, okay? Those other boats are great. They rock around. This is a living room in the water. So regulations, I got all the licenses and everything I need for this thing. You're not allowed drinking alcohol on these boats up in Canada. You're not allowed skippering, can't drink an alcohol. Other people on the boat cannot drink alcohol. You can only drink alcohol on a boat if you've got a permanent washroom and a permanent kitchen on this boat so there's it's a no-no however if you tie the boat to your dock you can drink yourself silly just try not to keep the keys in the boat it's not a good idea but you can have drinks so you have a living room on the end of your dock basically right so which is really good so so that's it this is the uh legend splash Cottage plus EXT pontoon boat. What a beautiful fishing rig and what a beautiful boat. And that's my review for the day. Thank you very much. I hope I didn't miss anything and I'll see you next time. One more note, one more thing I forgot here. This is a legend boat. That's the white light for navigation. And this is the Bimini. So the Bimini actually extends all the way from the back, right? right past the captain's console right here right this is a windscreen by the way for the uh, console but the bimini extends all the way to here so it's a pretty long bimini so the only other bimini i can think of is bimini cricket yeah. all righty 
One last thing, one very last thing. So I want to give a shout out to Captain Matt. So Captain Matt has a four hour course. That's the first course on uh, best pon bo pontoon boat captain on the lake, I think it's called. Best pontoon boat captain on the lake. It's a four hour, very comprehensive course. I took it. I took all four hours before I received this boat. And it teaches you all things starting from safety to how to drive a pontoon boat, to how to turn a pontoon boat, to how to dock a pontoon boat, to how to turn it in 360 degrees in the same point, uh, how to operate the motor, uh, basics on some basics on maintenance, um, almost everything you need to know about, about operating a pontoon boat. So that's Captain Matt. Um, and he is, the, I think, the best boat captain on the lake. So a shout out to Captain Matt. I made this video and I want to make sure anyone who's interested in buying one of these pontoon boats, buy his course. It's not that expensive and the value you get is amazing, okay? He even has trailering and everything on there, okay? I'm sure that once you've taken that course, you could join the Canadian Navy and they'd say, look, buddy, go ahead and take one of our ships for a spin. You've had the Captain Matt course. You're good to go.